welcome back to our vegan kitchen. It's still Veganuary. It is. So today, we're going to make our favorite salad. Because guys, when we make salad, we just don't roll into town with some iceberg lettuce and some ranch dressing. It is an event. And look who just rolled into town. Oh yeah! Bowie! Is that camera time? Oh. <laughs> So we always go all out with the salads. In fact, tonight happens to be pizza night. Oh. My uh, homemade sourdough crusts are rising right now. We're going to be topping those off in a little bit. Uh, we're going to have a real... Uh, pizza night is always family night. Mm -hmm. We all get together and we have pizza and salad Great. or a vegetable. So tonight we're having uh, a big salad a la Seinfeld. <laughs> like two small salads with a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> so I'm going to have some, I'm making some tofu to go on my salad because I'm not having pizza because I had enough bread today. I'm just going to do a salad, but you'll see this is a meal. So the first thing that I usually do when I make a salad is I make a very diverse salad because all of the different things are what you need to keep your microbiome and your gut healthy so that you don't get sick. The more diversity, the better. It's like New York City. Or anywhere. Or Yeah, or anywhere. But I'm saying like New York City is so diverse. And everybody gets along. It's crazy. I love it. And that's how I grew up. So we're going to have a very diverse salad tonight. We're going to have red peppers. We're going to have uh, English cukes. We're going to have tomatoes, and within the tomatoes even, we got yellow, we got orange, Ooh. we got uh, black, we have red. red. So, like, we've got them all. And if you notice, the uh, medley of tomatoes, the different colors, are like the same price as regular tomatoes. So why not go for the diversity? It's much, much better for your gut. Then why over here... <laughs> We're going to be having spring mix. We're going to be having red cabbage. We're going to be having some coleslaw mix. We're going to be having some shredded carrots. Whoa. Now, this is something new. Spring onions. Usually in the past, when I made a salad, the only thing, uh, well, the onion that I would put would be red onion. But, like, everybody um, was complaining that it was too much you know, the red onion was too strong, and then I tried pickling it, and it was still kind of strong. So now I just do the spring onions, because they're just a little bit milder, you know? And I don't want the onion to overpower. So I like to cut mine up with a uh, pair of kitchen shears, because it just seems to work so much better. And yes, they're not as small as when you do the sexy slices of the scallion, <laughs> but... You know what, this just works for me, but you know, you do you. You do whatever works for you. So what I like to do for me is I cut up my onion or my scallions first, and then I like to drizzle them with vinegar while I'm cutting up the rest of my salad because that gives the onions a chance to start to break down a little bit, and it's not going to be as tough on your stomach because... It's a little sharp if you're not used to eating, you know, especially the white parts. It can be a lot. So that's what I like to do. So as soon as I finish cutting these up, I'm going to give it a splash of vinegar. And the star of the show tonight is my vinegar. We have a beautiful white balsamic vinegar. Ooh. Yes, the red one, the red balsamic is lovely. But sometimes it feels a little bit heavy. I do enjoy it. But in our salad tonight, we're going to do the white balsamic because it's a little bit lighter and just a, just a little bit fluffier. <laughs> so we're just going to put in a splash. Now, when I was growing up, I used to go to my grandparents' house, my mom's uh, parents, and they used to have such a delicious tasting salad. And the only dressing that they had on it was extra virgin olive oil and like when I say like a tablespoon of uh, vinegar it, the star of the show there was the olive oil it was beautiful I could have eaten the whole bowl myself so it's just a splash of vinegar a lot of olive oil 
and uh, some sea salt, and that was it. Nothing else on the salad, and I'm talking like romaine. <laughs> <laughs> but yet they live to be in their 90s, so I, I'm i going to go one step further. I'm going to go one step beyond, and I'm going to do, well, maybe more than one step, but you'll see. It's going to be beautiful. All right, we're ready to build this. Build it, and they will come. <laughs> And yes, they will. They will enjoy it tonight because it's pizza night. I never measure anything. That's pro but that's probably about a quarter of a cup of toasted, sea salted sesame, not sesame, sunflower seeds. Uh, also, really great in a salad, pepitas, pumpkin seeds, really tasty. So then we've got our crunch. Well, not the tomato, but <laughs> the red pepper and the cukes essential it's so it's just so good when the um get back in there when the cucumber soaks up a little bit of the vinegar oh just so delicious you know what this is a small bowl for this salad i should always do this i should have pulled out my big bowl i actually have a, a bowl that's about twice the size of this that i usually used to use for the uh kale, kale salad the kale salad we need to bring that back i know we haven't had it in a while because that gets so messy when you oh, toss it's so that. good though yeah so we'll give this a preliminary mix and now we're going to add in our cruciferous we got some red cabbage, which is great. All of these uh, cruciferous uh, veggies, like the cabbages, great for your brain because they have sulforaphane in it, and that is great for your brain health. So the more cabbage, the better. Also, if you want, you could also throw in some uh, fresh sauerkraut. Would be incredible incredible and you know fermented foods are so good for you we're also going to put in some carrots you got to have a crunchy salad right you do. if you have a limp wilted salad that's no fun again we're going to try and give it another mix because this is going to get impossible to uh mix after a while you'll see it's going to be slopping everywhere Oh, it's already looking oh, amazing. It's beautiful. So let's um, add a little bit of the, you know, the accoutrements here. We've got garlic powder. I don't like putting fresh garlic in my salad because it bothers people's stomachs sometimes. It's too much. It's too much. So we're just going to put a little bit of garlic powder. This is probably about a quarter to a third of a teaspoon that I'm putting in. The pizza is also going to have garlic, so I don't want everybody breathing fire tonight. <laughs> I also like to uh, salt my salad at this point. So this is my crazy mixed up uh, seasoning salt. Let, again, probably about a quarter to a third of a teaspoon of this. You got to have some beautiful uh, fresh cracked pepper in there too. Unless you can't handle it, that is. I know some people can't handle pepper, so. I don't like to put too much because nobody likes to get a little piece of pepper and it makes a little fire in their mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not fun, but ooh, I can smell that already. Mm -hmm. That is smelling wonderful with the fresh pepper. So again, keep mixing as you keep adding stuff. You'll thank yourself later because as much as you can get distributed before the lettuce goes in there, the better. The better, yeah. So now we're going to add our evu, that which you know is extra virgin olive oil. And my mom only bought this type of olive oil from California, 100% cold pressed, extra virgin olive oil. So flavorful. The, the better the oil, the better the salad. Always buy extra virgin olive oil for your salad. Don't try and cook with this because that's not what this is for. Get your avocado oil to cook with. That will that has a higher smoke point and that's better for cooking, you know, for doing a little sauteing and whatnot. So again, we've got our olive oil in there and boy, this is starting to glisten like yes. a glazed donut. A vegan one. <laughs> <laughs> I could also add romaine, but it's it's too much. It's too much. We're just going to go with the um, the spring mix now. 
And no, don't dump it all in at once. My recommendation for you guys is to do a couple of handfuls at a time because this is going to wilt slightly. So incorporate a little bit at a time, let it wilt down, you know, like when you make an omelet or something and it's spinach and you use fresh spinach. You can't put that whole thing in there all at once. Just give it a chance to, uh, you know, work itself in there. Wait a couple of minutes, go have a cup of coffee, <laughs> come back, add a couple more handfuls, give it another stir. We'll be adding handfuls while we're cooking the pizza and the tofu is finishing. We'll it's show you the finished product. Yeah, we'll be back after we incorporate a Ooh. few more, a few more handfuls in here. But it's looking good. Yes, it is. All right. Oh my G. <laughs> this is the beautiful salad with my uh, favorite tofu on the top. So so delicious. <laughs> Somebody's already been in the tofu. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so excited to try this salad. I'm going to not have the tofu right now because I don't want to eat all your tofu. You can and have I already... a piece. Well, I want to taste the salad on its own first. All right. You know I'm going to be having some of the tofu with of that course. pizza. Yes, here's the vegan pizza for tonight. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. <laughs> big bite, big bite. <laughs> Let me work through it. <laughs> okay. That is wonderful. Oh. So fresh. That's the first yes. thing that comes to mind when you take a bite. It's just there's, the freshness There's a lot of, of different it. layers in there. It's light, but it has a lot of variety in there. Mm-hmm. Mm. That, uh, what would you say? The scallion? The scallion gives just wonderful. enough. Wonderful. Yeah. Mm. So, so good. And um, not hard to pull together. No, it was pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Especially if you rely on getting the bag of like the shredded carrots already, the that shredded cabbage. So yeah, you you can have salads for the whole week. Just pull it together. You know, fresh salads for the whole week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dang she can't tofu. stop that tofu. That's out of control. <laughs> Wasn't that a video like a couple days ago? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Go back in the feed, guys, of if you're the uploaded. In the tofu, yeah. And check you out should a few be. Videos back. Yeah, we we did the tofu taste test. Mm -hmm. Or the tofu uh, test. Yeah, and that was the big winner. Yes, the nooch. I mean, they were all winners, but that was our favorite. Yeah. I'm ready to devour. I know. <laughs> Salad. I know. Oh my goodness. Well, stop eating my dinner. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> Let us know if you give this a try. Happy Veganuary. Mm -hmm. And until next time, much, much love. love.